guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be talking about my hair care regimen when when I was transitioning and since I became natural the products I've been using and it's quite a long list so I have it written on my phone just to help me out so um, as you know I've been completely natural for about a year and six months and I've been um, post relaxer for about two years and six months so whilst I was transitioning I used um, my favorite thing to use was the Megrit deep conditioner I'll try and get a picture or a link of that somewhere in one of these corners because obviously I used that a very long time ago I don't actually still have the container I also used the Mega Growth Leave-In Conditioner and that was really good because it was really water based and it just it just did wonders for my hair, I really loved it. Um, I also used the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. That one was very creamy, it smelled lovely, it smelled like heaven but um, it seemed to leave my hair dry so I kind of only used it once and then I just I never used it again. I also used the moisturising cream from African Pride and yeah I didn't really like that either, it was kind of, um, it was creamy but it was really thick so it kind of dried my hair out, I just don't think it worked well with my hair but maybe it works better for someone else. I also used the Beautiful Texture Moisturising Shampoo when I was washing my hair and the Beautiful Textures Conditioner, the Deep Conditioner those were absolutely amazing like I would buy those all over again but I think the only problem with them was that it had um, parabens in it and sulfates and I'm not really big on the whole sulfates and parabens thing but you know I, I try to be as healthy as possible when it comes to my hair um, I also used Texture My Way, I used four products from Texture My Way which were the shampoo, the conditioner, the curling pudding and I think I used the leave-in conditioner as well I really enjoy texture my way, especially the deep detangler. I must say that it was hands on the best detangler I've ever had. When my hair was transitioning, you know, the two different textures they were really difficult to deal with, so it just really helped me out. I also used as oils, I used castor oil to help thicken my hair, but then when I was transitioning, that became a nightmare because my hair just become, became really thick and I just couldn't manage it. So I stopped using castor oil for a while whilst I was transitioning and then I started using it again when I became fully natural to make my hair thicker. I also use pure coconut oil, whilst that's just a staple oil, it does work well for my hair. I have been using it practically since I was like six years old. My mum used to put it in my hair and I noticed that it really does help to manage my frizz and all that stuff. Whilst well. so I was transitioning I must mention that I did experiment with biotin for about um, three months and I started off by taking like the 1000 mcg and I took that for a week and that was fine every day and then I took the 2000 the second week I took like two of the 1000s then the third week I started taking three of them but I didn't really like the way that my body felt when I was taking three of them like I felt really nauseous a lot and I thought I was drinking enough water but I guess I wasn't because I started to break out so that was I guess one of the side effects for me and since then I've just been so afraid to try biotin again. I'm considering getting it again and probably only using up to 2000 because I think that's what works for me. If I do decide to do that I'll let you guys know. Um, so on to what I do now that I'm natural. The products that I use currently are um, mainly Canty Shea Butter um, products and I love I love, I absolutely love Kanti. Like, they really have a good line of products available, and it just really works well for my hair. So, I've been using that for about, I don't know, about a year now. The one I started using was the leave in conditioner, and I noticed it was really creamy, but it was also watery. So, when you put it in your hair, like, it's like if it protects your hair, it's like a little bubble that forms around your hair, and I really liked using that. I also recently started using the moisturizing conditioner and the um, cleansing shampoo the reason I use the cleansing shampoo now is because I feel like my hair tends to get a lot of build-up because I tend to moisturize my hair every two days so like by the end of the week my hair is already really really thick with dirt and muck and stuff so I tend to I prefer using the cleansing shampoo over 
a moisturising shampoo, but I do have a moisturising shampoo that I use every now and then. Um, and yeah, I think they have worked really well for me and I will continue to use them. Also recently bought their spray oil. Um, I'll put a picture of it. I have it, but I just don't know where it is. Um, and I don't know, I'm indecisive about it because it's good, but I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is. I also use Dugro, the anti-thinning moisturiser, and that I recently started using about two months ago, and I've noticed that it does work really well for my hair. I know that Dugro products are very good in general, so I decided to try it out, and I don't really regret it. I'm not sure if I would buy it again, simply because I don't really like the way it smells. It kind of smells like sulphur, and it's also blue, like light blue a weird light blue. I also use the Dax the green one um, it has I think it has castor oil and lanolin in it and it has like a blue cover I use that and I've been using that for about since I was transitioning actually um, I know that that works really well for my hair and it helps my hair to grow surprisingly and I know not many people use pomades but I'm old-fashioned like I fully believe that you must have a pomade in your collection so I, I use that occasionally on my scalp. I also started using jasmine oil, but I realised that the one that I bought was actually just scented oil, so I'm not sure if it's actual jasmine oil. So I'm, I don't really get many results from that, I just use it for like slippage, like when I'm taking out my braids or something like that. Um, so that, those are the products that I use now and what I used when I was transitioning. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about my regimen. I always shampoo my hair every two weeks. Um, but recently, I find that if I try to shampoo my whole head, it's a bit daunting and it gets really tangled. So recently, I've been um, putting my hair in like twists before I wash it. When, I, when I'm putting the twist in, I detangle my hair first and then I put coconut oil in. Let that sit for a while. If I can leave it overnight, I do that. And then the next day, I shampoo it with the twist in. So I just like apply the shampoo to my scalp and like massage it in to lift the dirt. And then... Um, I deep condition um, probably twice a month and whenever I do that I do that straight after shampooing and then I leave it in I deep condition every section twist it back up detangle it and twist it back up and then I leave it for about an hour and then I go back and rinse the deep conditioner out um, I also curl wash every other week because my hair tends to get really dry within the space of a week even if I deep condition so I, I co-wash to you know relift my hair revitalize it and I do that every other week um, when I am moisturizing my hair I use the liquid cream oil method which is the LCO method and I do that every two or three days depending on how dry my hair actually is um, and that's been working well for me I've been doing that for well over a year now since I've learned about the LCO method I've been using it um, when it comes to protective styling like box braids or Marley twists I, I normally keep them in for a maximum of five or six weeks I never actually reach six weeks I wish I could but I normally take them out around four weeks um, around the four weeks four week mark but I've done the inversion method and it seems to work for me so um, I did that about three times and I experienced a lot of growth in that space of time but the, the other thing I do and I guess this is more of an advice to people is like never ever go to sleep on a cotton pillow with your hair out because your hair will get so dry and like for me I move around a lot in my sleep so if I don't have a satin scarf on my hair will be pulling out and I will have no hair <laughs> so just make sure you like go to sleep with a satin scarf or a bonnet or something I also do not over process my hair like some people put like 15 different products in their hair at once and it just it makes the hair really heavy and for me I just use the LCO or something else like I don't do everything all at once also when it comes to detangling I only use a comb when I'm detangling, otherwise I use my fingers um, or a brush. Reason being is that I find that the comb tends to like drag your hair out and it's quite harsh on your scalp as well if you're constantly combing your hair every day, you will start to feel the effects on your scalp. So I just use my fingers or a brush most of the time. 
Um, I also avoid wearing my hair up or pulling it back because it, it does destroy your edges. Like I've had that experience before where I've been pulling my hair up and my edges were almost non-existent. Yeah, I think that's it for my regimen and my products that I used. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, just don't be afraid to leave a comment. I'll be glad to answer it. And um, yeah, if you found this video really helpful, um, please do like it. And if you like my channel, if you like what you see so far, because I've only got three videos, um, then subscribe. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, the name on Instagram is NubianCurls93. At the moment, I probably only have one picture up, but that's because I just got it up and running, so just be patient with me. Yeah, my next video will hopefully be a heatless curl video where I'll be using flexi rugs, and it will be my first attempt. And just look out for that, and hopefully it goes well. If it's not, it'll be a fail, but we'll see. So yeah, thank you guys for staying tuned to this video. I know it's been long and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!